getting some feed delivered for our bison. You guys will not believe what I saw when I opened up our big bin right here. Hey guys, Dusty Baker across Timbers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Got an interesting event that just happened and it involves Zib2 and the bison feeder. Craziest thing I've ever seen. Scared the crap out of me, by the way. I have to borrow the neighbor's tractor. Good old Larry Muck. a little bit there you go there's some good stuff right there a little bit there you guys go the good stuff. Yeah. Getting some feed delivered for our bison. You guys will not believe what I saw when I opened up our big bin right here. A rooster. One of the roosters got caught in here, and I have no idea how. <laughs> how does that even happen? How'd you get in there? Kevin, one of your chickens uh, got in the feed bin somehow. Take this off, see if we can get old home slice to get out. There he is.
Yeah. Like what in the world? That's not something you see every day. You hooligan. Why? Did you see that rooster? Look at him. That's an interesting morning for sure. And the roosters are reunited again. Yeah, they're back. Milo and Otis, right there. There's no telling how long that rooster was in there. No telling. And I still don't know how in the heck he got in there. I have no Something else I'm gonna go ahead and do today since I'm borrowing the neighbor's tractor is I'm going to take this uh, 24 foot freestanding panel. It, it has a, a 10 foot gate on it as well. It hinges right here. Um, if you guys don't remember, you can go back and watch it if you want, but we had to put this panel in here we reached it over with the tractor, it lifted it up and dropped it in here. This is what we use to get Big Joe out. Um, because this uh, holding box is too big, what we did is we just shrinked it down and put this panel in here. And after working with Joe and pushing him for 30 minutes or so, we came up with this idea to put the panel here and make this lane so much smaller and it forces them in the tub down there, the new tub. And we did that, and within five minutes or so, Big Joe went down the lane in the tub, and we actually caught him, and that's how we got him to the Ponderosa. Uh, and we did that back in October, November time. But uh, we liked this idea so much that we got it. We're gonna put another 20-foot uh, freestanding panel in here. We're gonna weld on a 14-foot gate, and that gate is gonna go from there to here, so that when these animals enter. Let me show you, I'll turn this around and I'll show you how this will go. So when these animals are in here, this is a big holding area, we run them in. They'll come down here. This is what we traditionally do. There'll be a gate right here at an angle. And so they'll be forced to go down that lane. The tub will be open and the tub will be able to shut and they can make a big circle. That's what this is, is like a U shape. It goes this way into the tub. There's a loadout down there where we load out and they can go all the way back around into the squeeze chute. We like that idea so much. We're gonna uh, just get, I got some custom gates being made. We're gonna put a custom gate on that end right where the tub is and one right here. So you can actually hold them here. Uh, you can hold some here because this will be shut. You'll have that angle here and it forces them to go down the lane. And so we'll have two sliding gates and uh, yeah, so Right now, right now I'm gonna pull this out and uh, then we're gonna bring in our new one and we're gonna weld up two four foot gates to it. Eventually, they're being made right now so that'll happen later on. We got it hooked up here, hooked up here. Just gonna back straight out and try to pull this thing out.
Got it out with some dirt. Let's go shut all this so we can keep these guys out. Nosy. So there you go. It's out. Ready for a new one. Well, some got a lot done today. It's a it's a good thing I'm a stay-at-home dad because with two places you got uh, bison, you know, at the Ponderosa and here at the original place where we started, it has kept me busy. Kevin does a lot over here for me, um, but you know he has a full-time job, and uh, I get to do this and take care of the cabins and take care of the brooks. But um, got our one-ton feeder filled up got the our feeder bulls uh the teal big feeder that thing holds like 13,000 14,000 pounds worth of feed so about seven tons is what we typically put in it um but and this one with just uh 2,000 pounds for the little gray one here um i need another one of those feed is going up so much uh if you it's cheaper to buy bulk and that's why we buy bulk and we had it delivered because it's much safer with the big green ones sitting over there that I, we put with our feeder bulls and um what it's just so much safer because it's so heavy and i don't have the uh, and i've got a truck i got a three-quarter ton truck that can pull it but it's just i don't feel comfortable with it um, the one ton feeder it's it's not much it, it can pull pretty easy but uh got to uh, thank you larry for letting me borrow your tractor today big john deere uh, the one Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, a brother-in-law, let us use. It is on the fritz with some hydraulic issues. And, uh, of course, uh, you got to have hydraulics um, to run the brakes, the steering, and the lift, in this case, the fork. Um, the hay forks as well. So uh, just use the neighbors uh, and get it taken care of. So, lucky, thank you, Larry. Got a bell of hay out to the calves. And they're uh, they're doing peachy so anyways uh feeders filled up now it's time to head to the ponderosa and take care of all of those animals and check them uh, and this is stuff that i just do daily we got some hay i had to go buy some hay uh, just because of our winter is going to be extended a little longer and um, we're getting low on hay and when you got two herds uh, you use more hay and so we're learning with uh, how many animals we have how much hay we're using so we know in the future you don't have to buy it so late in the winter time but uh, this is just how it goes and when you need it you need it you got to take care of those animals so we did have to buy some more and uh, that's okay got a freestanding panel pulled out um, and we'll put a new one in there because in less than a month we'll be working the bison here and we'll be working at the ponderosa for the first time and so my, the next couple weeks I'll be getting ready for that since we've made some adjustments here um, We'll get this set and then also at the Ponderosa getting that ready to work the bison and uh, super excited about that Another thing to let you guys know about is we may be having our first Red dog at the Ponderosa soon our 32 cow uh, one of the Texas cows that we got um, She is huge she has a massive belly on her. You've probably seen photos of her and whatnot. She is the boss cow over there, cow 32. She is massive, and uh, she looks like she's about to pop, which is exciting because that means that will be our very first calf, very first red dog on the Ponderosa, and that will be super exciting for all of us to, uh, to witness that and see that. So that, I think, will happen in April because she is showing some signs of... Uh, getting ready to calf so it'd be nice if they had all calf in april that'd be great but here they typically don't it's usually may so we'll have hopefully some babies there i think with our numbers and everything and uh, i think we could have about 10 calves uh, this year that includes this herd and uh, the texas herd maybe more i could be wrong i could be wrong uh, just with what my thinking is and stuff we could have 10 to 12 maybe so who knows uh, it'll be the most calves we've had this year or ever at the uh, 
just doing uh, since we started raising bison. Could be the most ever. Don't let me forget about the uh, wild encounter with the rooster in the feeder. I still don't know how the rooster was in the feeder. I don't know how long he was in that bulk feeder that you can see back there, the big green one. <laughs> oh man, uh, what the 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 actual bin must have been open up where they can where the feed comes out. I don't know. I have no idea how he even got in there unless Kevin checked it or he left it open or something. But there was a rooster inside of it when I opened it today. And uh, it scared the tar out of me. Uh, it's just not something you see every day. So guys, check your bulk feeders before you fill them up. Uh, there's no telling how long he was in there and I bet he was super thirsty. But hey, he was fine. He met his buddy. He was back with him and uh, I saw him get some water out of the trough for sure. So. Thank you guys for watching us. And if you haven't, guys, follow us along. We're raising the American bison. There's no cooler animal in North America. Follow us along. And that's all we do, guys, on here is we bison ranch. And everything we do goes back to the bison. So thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you next time.